Welcome back, Hello Sunders. We're here with Code Gias. This is season 2, turn 16. Let's check it out. United Federation of Nations. The Emperor's gone? Huh? He's disappeared? He has. I've just received word from Prime Minister Schneisel about it. It's important that we restrict this information to only those present here. I see. You got her out of there inside of the Sutherland's cockpit. Please forgive me. You ordered me to destroy them all, but oh, what's the name again? What have you got? Was just... Forget it. Cornelia, is that a name? Yeah. Tell me, Lelouch, what is it you are seeking within that accursed power? What am I seeking? I'm seeking to save a sister that I adore. <laughs> Show them the face. I bet she thinks. <laughs> I think it's Euphemia. So. I'm so sorry. What the hell's that me? Oh, oh shit! Oh my gosh! Oh my yeah, gosh. of course. Be the shit out of him. By ratifying this charter, it will give birth to an alliance that will rival the Holy Britannian Empire, and its name shall be what? the United Federation of Nations. The United Federation of Nations. UFN. I brought you some food to eat. How long is she gonna be like this? I know. I'm not sure. Is she gonna get her memories back? She'll definitely like pizza. Yeah. Who doesn't like pizza? You can eat. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Well, she the, quick. You know, the sense of taste is not going to change. It's just her memories. The Emperor's Gias? But why use it on Anya? Even recent things. My memories don't match the recordings at all. Like when fighting with the Chinese Federation. They don't. What the hell is that? Who what do people value most, Sir Kudurugi the traitor? Who's that? Their own life, of course. So I see that you've returned from the Belarusian front. So badly. It's the night of ten. The night oh. of ten. Oh. With the new ladies is still intact. Princess Massacre was. Oh, look, he's eh? Speak another untrue word of her name, and you will have to face me in a duel, sir. Oh, it seems you've forgotten. I'm very well known as the genius of homicide. Oh wow. <laughs> okay. Any true bloodline has dulled you. Who's going down? The Galahad? Both of you, cease your squabbling. Who's in this? The Knight of One. The Knight of One. They send Bismarck Waldstein here. Anya, a foolish Oh, question. him. The Black Knights will invade Area 11. Yeah, first. this guy looked badass. Luciano. I brought the Valkyrie Squadron for that here as well. Valkyrie Squadron. I've also ready Garrett's for this event. Bloody now hell. It's time for us to join our forces under the command of Prince Schneisel. So save your solo flaunting for the battlefield. Ha! I understand it well. Whatever you say, my lord. Very interesting characters. We've finally seen them in action now. My brother Naoto is like that as well. Oh, I'd heard we captured the Black Knight Ace, but I didn't expect... Oh, Dad, what was he gonna do here? I don't believe I gave you permission to enter this area, Sir Bradley. <laughs> He's gonna be a menace. Hostages have only one value I care for. It seems to hold dear its own life. And while alive, one can do anything he has a whim for to its body. Yeah, this guy's creepy. Any matter caught within the primary area of effect field will be annihilated by the Flea's rapid sphere collapse. And so weapon. As everyone watching this broadcast has witnessed, all 47 nations have just ratified the United States Charter. Please stay tuned. 47 nations. It's a lot wow, of that's massive. Pretty With that good. many pe the powers here, yeah, they should be able to take down the Britannian Empire. Orange boy. What? <laughs> I'm surprised he said it. No, oh, he's the one who met. Oh, bloody coined it, didn't he? Yeah, I just totally forgot. Did he? Yeah. To guarantee security, member nations have agreed to employ a fighting force not affiliated with any one country. They have contracted the Black Knights. We oh, hear wow. Okay. Accept. Our acceptance also allows for UFN funding and personnel involvement. In return, we will become the like end credits. <laughs> Sounds like you know, similar to United Nations and NATO together. Yeah. All those in favor, please stand up. And so with overwhelming majority, under UFN resolution number one, the Black Knights shall now go forth to liberate Japan. So be it. Damn. Under UFN resolution number one. They're gonna have a massive force. 
But you got the that's the Holy Knights one to ten. That's true. <laughs> this is quick. How quickly they form this all together. Oh shit! What the fuck? What? Was this fate disappearance you're doing, Father? A charade? Shadow thought he's the he'd become the Emperor. <laughs> Whoever succeeds in this battle shall gain control of the entire world. Very well. Have at me, Zero. I'm ready. So will you win it all now, Zero, or will you lose everything? Time to learn the gambles of war. Now how did he get out of that, you know, alternate pla uh, universe? Oh shit. They're ready as well, damn. The Britannians are more organized, I tell you that now. Yeah, they are. Um, Master, I kept this last piece so you could have it. You left without having breakfast and must be hungry. So please, if be you... Be quiet! No oh, shit. Oh, cut a finger. Be careful now, you're bleeding. No, it's fine. I'm okay, I get cut up all the time. All the time. Tom. Bleeding feels even better when it's cold. It feels warm on your outside. Oh my man, that is sad. Lelouch, are you zero? <laughs> you gonna confess? I'm sure he's realized by now. Tell me why an enemy of Britannia is calling. Help me. Please save Nanali. The Emperor has been using her as hostage to try and lure me into his trap. Don't you see? That's why I've had to operate in secret. Please, Suzaku. You're the only person I can turn to now. How dare you? You think that request means anything to me? Look at that. The flying over him. All the warships. Always so selfish. Yes. What imagery? You're all I have. The only friend I can turn to. Is he still a friend? It's not only but he'll protect yeah, Nellily. My heart's begging. Very well then. <laughs> However, one condition. What's that? I will protect Nanali, but you must come to Area 11 by yourself, where she is. The place will be the Kururugi Shrine. The two of us meet there, alone. Let's be honest, none of them are going to come alone. <laughs> They're going to secretly bring their people with them. That was an <laughs> interesting episode. So we got this uh, new United Na United Nations of Federation. U yeah. United Federation United of State Na United States. Uh, United States of Nations. United Federation of Nations. No. <laughs> United States of Nations. No. There's, there's no federation in there. UFN. United UFN. United Federation of Nations. That sounds silly, I'm sure I read it. No. United States what? of Nations. It's called UFN. They kept mentioning UFN. That's the fighting force. No, United that's fighting. The, that's the, the thing they built. Wait, well, look. United Federation of Nations. There, see that? Oh, but then that's the English translation is United States. And then the subtitles is United. Oh, no, man. they said UFN. UFN. Yeah. I, I heard them say UFN, but their organization, I'm sure it was the United States. Why would it be United States? They're not trying to copy real life. They are. A United States. But not literally. You're not, they're not going to say United States. Yeah, United States, States and nations are exactly the same. Yeah, I get what you're meaning. But yeah, it looks like they created this pretty quickly. Uh, we managed to get 47 nations, I believe, uh, which is crazy. They managed to like get everyone together and then they came up with their re resolutions already and the first one was like, assign uh, the Black Knights as like, the main fighting force. And now they're here to take over Japan or help liberate it, I guess. But if you look at the map now, the you know it's clear cut now, you got the UFN versus Britannia. Britannia has more um, more landmass. Yeah, more landmass. Uh, but the thing is, will they be able to fight off the UFN? Will those other nations under the control of the Britannians see this opportunity to rebel and get their independence? And if that happens, mm. they'll be fighting on two fronts. That's true. They should do that, I'm telling you now. I'd say that's the only way I see it happening with the countries that the Britannians have conquered. 
when the fight when they start in two massive armies now you got all those 47 nations combining their resources with one army compared to the disparate 47 separate fighting yeah. forces you know, it's more concentrated now they can target things better britannia has to do the same as well they have to start targeting but then they'll have to move their forces and that should leave their conquered lands open for rebellion liberation yeah. from the local populace yeah and if that does happen which i think that would be a great thing it'll be over for britannia that's when they'll start they'll start panicking then they'll be losing everything because they won't be able to handle it but they've got an ace up their sleeve uh where well, they've got two with britannia they've got the king yeah. plus nina's nuclear weapon yeah, so nuclear. they're kind of uh mirroring what happened in real life when the you know united states bombed japan with the two nuclear bombs yeah. and japan surrendered you know straight up what if they use that nuclear bomb out in public and all those nations see that shoot that's the power they've got maybe that's it that could splinter their new ufn saying that's it no we don't want to get killed that's it they might just give up we'll see how that plays out i just realized that now you know lots of things are up in the air yeah that's true cc back to a child like mind yeah Stuff that stuff that she's been through, you know, been treated like she's a servant, a slave. Yeah. And but then, that's what? How many years? Maybe ten years from her childhood, and what's been wiped from her memory? Centuries. That's true. Yeah. You know, so Orange Boy uh, captured Cornelia. Yeah. But didn't kill her. You know, he still has some affiliation with her. You know, I think they're both. You know, Cornelia and Orange Boy. They were both protectors of Lelouch's mum. Yeah. Mother. She could just. She, could she come around to Lelouch's point of view? Valletta. Eve, right now, she's not showing any signs of that, to be honest. Not Valletta, Valletta, Cornelia. Oh, Cornelia. Yeah. Okay, yeah. But the thing is, okay. her, her sister's okay. death is still present, you know, still recent for her. She wants to hurt um, Lelouch as well because he's hurt her. Yeah, I'm wondering what he's going to do with uh, Cornelia now that he's got her hostage. I mean, I'm not sure how he's going to use her. Like I said, you know, obviously as a bargaining chip. No, but at the end, he was going through those um, combinations. Yeah, he couldn't use her because no. the king doesn't give two shits. No, about any of his kids. That's true. You know, unless they come up and grab power by force, that's what he respects. And that's you know, Schneider at that point, he thought, oh, his dad's gone. Uh, I'm next in line. I'm yeah. gonna be the king. But then his dad turned up. And <laughs> no, he he's like, <laughs> nope. Sit down, boy. All right, guys. What did you think of that episode? Let us know your thoughts down below. If you've missed anything, let us know. We'd really appreciate it. if you liked our reaction. Consider subscribing to the channel, and we'll see you in the next one. Take care. Peace.